Hello everybody, it's Holly from Besotted Orchids. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy Valentine's Day. Red, I'm not a red person, but it's Valentine's Day. So, I want to start out by showing you an orchid that I did pick up at the um, Kingwood Gardens display. They had a few extra ones for sale and they said that when the display is done, they will be having they have 250 in the display. Many of those, if not all, according to my understanding, will be placed for sale in the gift shop greenhouse type area of Kingwood Gardens. And you don't have to pay to even go because they don't expect you to pay to shop. You're spending money already. So you can actually go in and just shop and get out or you can pay a little bit or get the free library pass and you can tour the entire grounds, which is fabulous. But what I have here, is something that if you follow my channel, you know, is on my wish list. It no longer, no longer on the wish list. This is a yellow twinkle. It's one I've been wanting. So it's called Twinkle Yellow Bird. I think I would have remembered that name. Okay, I'm gonna set that down. I want to give a couple shout outs for some of the new subscribers. And if I'm missing anybody, please forgive me. I know we have had two separate Karens on. We have an Evelina, Randy Reed, Mary, and Red Rose. So welcome, welcome to the channel. Happy Valentine's Day. Now, I have been telling you, I'm going to show you all three of my dendrobiums. This one here is Little Norman. Get this in so you can see a little better. My hands are shaking. Little Norman. Very, very pretty little orchid. Lots of speckles on the back. This really is a hard orchid to display in your home because, oh, I'm not even gonna get it to the camera. You know, you have so much on one side and a lot of it is on the back. So you don't really know, should you have it up high so you can see you know, the underside or a little lower so you see the speckles. But here it is, diminutive. This is not a large orchid maybe eight inches tall, you know, forget the plant, you know, the pot, but from the roots up, maybe eight inches. It has a couple more growths on it, more spikes coming. Um, there was a viewer who did state that he has one and he loves it. Um, sorry, I forget your name, but um, you know who you are. And he said his is in constant bloom pretty much. So maybe, maybe this one will be doing that too. I'm going to go in size order because I have a behemoth over here for you to look at. This one here, I wish I wouldn't have watered right before, but it looked dry. Here's my mid-range. Here's the mid-range size. And this one is called Dendrobium Roy Tukanaga Christmas Cheer Times something. You know how it is with orchid tags. Look at this one. It's very, very pretty. Now, a lot of these spots are on the inside. I can't get Goodness, I have too many dendrobiums on the table. A lot of the spots of this one are on the inside of it, not on the outside. It's pretty. You know, I'm. this may, might be my second favorite of them. I'm, I don't know. It, it's hard to say which one you like the most. This one's a little more white, a little more green, green, white cast to it. And I really like that. And that's a medium size, but... I'm thinking in a year or two, it's probably going to be pushing the same size as this one here. Happy sap. I guess I'm happy sap on me. Okay, this one is Dendrobium Spider Lily, a Roy Tukanaga type also. Look at this. I'm gonna say we're heading towards specimen size. I'm really delighted with this. This is the one you've been watching that's been hiding back in the corner. Very, very pretty. Look at that. Just loaded one, two, four spikes so far, so far. There are some more coming on to this. So I don't think four spikes is bad. And, and this is the Latoria type. And I do wanna stress this to you. If you see this here, it has already bloomed on this spike, but it's not one of those orchids that you cut the spike off when it's done because here it came down here and gave me a lovely spike. So you don't want to cut these spikes off. 
the canes, excuse me. You don't want to cut the canes off. You just, unless they're really desiccated, really dried out, you don't want to mess with them. So yeah, this is just beautiful. I'm really, really, really enjoying this one. It's actually, I'll set it. I'll show you how I have it displayed in the home because it is rather large and beautiful at the moment. I have it up on my bookcase sitting in this pretty, pretty bird vase for spring. So here it is. Look at this. I am very, very well pleased with this orchid. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful. It's so pretty. Every time anybody comes to the house, I'm like, what's your favorite orchid? What's your favorite orchid? And my daughter was here. I said last night for my son, he was four, turned 14 yesterday. Um, it, oh, he was not very happy. We promised him to go to the, um, the air museum down in Dayton, Ohio to see all the, the jets, all, every aviation, just everything. And fluke, total fluke closed yesterday. He's not happy. But anyhow, he turned 14 yesterday. So yeah, I wish we could have taken him, but I can't, I can't tell someone when they have to be open and closed. But anyhow, my daughter came over for cake and I'm like, what's your favorite orchid over here? And you're not allowed to say the Lego orchid that you bought me that's sitting over there. And she, well, of course she liked the twinkle. Everybody likes the twinkle. Oh gosh, can I even get this out of here? Ah, she really liked this one. <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of leaves in the way here. This is Lady Ramona. It's a Phias. Very, very pretty. Nice big plant. New growth. There is a new growth coming on. Is it just one? Yeah. So I'm really pleased with this. It is very pretty. It's very, very pretty. The under, the top side is a little lighter than the un underside over here. They're just very, very pretty blooms. So let me see if there's anything else that I want to, oh my goodness, we cannot forget this. This is Chrysomorphum. This is a species orchid. You may have seen this already. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And it smells amazing. Sometimes I think when you hybridize orchids and you hybridize maybe not the correct ones together, you're losing a little scent. This one is just delicate. I would say every orchid in here on this table has a delicate scent. But when you multiply that delicate scent by all of these orchids, it smells rather nice over here. So this is Chrysomorphum, a species. I'm really, really happy with this one. And I think in future years, it will become a little longer. I'm gonna just bring this out to show you because it is nice and pink for Valentine's. If I can get it on the camera correctly. Hieroglyphica. Very, very pretty. And it has a few, it, it developed six spikes this year. And there's more coming on. This is called the novelty fowl or the summer blooming fowl. And the, the pink fades a little bit as it, as it goes on, but there are more preparing. So I'm hoping maybe all summer long, I'll have some beautiful, beautiful blooms from this. And you'd have to really want it to have a scent, to say it had a scent. There's something, but it's not like your Bellinas on my that's another thing on my list but I will tell you my twin brother and I he lives up in Canton Howard we will be going to an orchid show in um Norton it's the Akron I want to say it's the Akron Orchid Society so up in Norton which is obviously maybe a suburb of Akron they will be hosting a an orchid show and a sales on um March 2nd so if you're in the area I know some of my viewers are a little more northeastern Ohio, pop in. My brother and I will be there. My twin. <laughs> you, can't, you can't not say twin. Come on. So Howard and Holly are going to be going <laughs> to the orchid show. And I probably, depending on how many people are there, I probably will film. So that'll be fun. That's a nice little outing for us. So 
very, very nice. I'm trying to think what else It's so crowded over here. There's so many orchids. This is one. I'm not sure that I ever showed you that I did or order from Triton and you can see lots of new growth. I'm very pleased with this. This is my Solangini Udasana. Sadly, I did lose my former one. I was not happy with that at all. I don't know. Plant, my care, probably my care. I don't know. My last, my former Solangini passed away. So I'm really, really hoping that this one does very well because it is my sequential bloomer. And it, it kind of hung down, just absolutely hung upside down, white with this beautiful dark mahogany center. It was just, it was just, the contrast of the color was amazing. It just looked great. So I think this is very healthy. It did come from Triton. Very, very nice. Here we go. Oh my goodness. And Orchid Saga. I am very pleased to say, it's not very often that I get to show, tell somebody who's a little bigger in the orchid world, an orchid they have. But he did state, that I did help him ID this. He has one of these. He has an Obsidian Pinky Eye Candy. So I was, I was really happy to hear that. So that was nice. But yeah, he does have one of these. If you watch the Orchid Saga, I believe he's in the Netherlands. Really, really a massive amount of orchids. He does a great job with his orchids. A lot of his are mounted. What else? Oh my goodness. Do you want me to drag all these out? Of course you do. Let me see. I don't know how to even get them out of here. You know, when you have loose, oh, don't you dare break. When you have loose sleeves, sometimes you can do more damage to your orchids. Look at this spider orchid. Oh my goodness. I want to say this is Mystic Maze. Look. Beautiful. I just adore these. They're just so unique. Oh, here it is. I'll get this leaf out of the way for you. Very, very pretty. And there's a little bird for spring. But let me see. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 on a quick count. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. And let me see a new growth coming here. And I don't know if it's going to shoot out another spike. I don't believe so. No scent. This one is not scented. Let's see if we can get this back here. Come on. Don't break anything on your way back. Ah. Okay. Now this one is quite fragrant. Oh my goodness. Yes. This smells like you have an entire bouquet of daffodils. That's the only thing I can say. Uh, not rose-like, nothing like that. Daffodil. And look at this plant. It is honey, par or paragon honey butter. Oh my goodness. Is this another? We might have a third spike. We might have a third spike coming. Let me see if I can get these up to you. Beautiful. Ew, it's not flashy. It's not big and blousy. It's just... I don't know. It's a steady bloomer. It does have a scent. It is rather pretty. It's, it's probably one of my top favorite orchids. And it does have another spike somewhere. Of course, when you want to show people a spike, they're going to hide. They're like, we're going into hiding. We can't. Oh, here it is. There's a spike over here. And like I said, I think I just spotted a third one down in there. But look at this. Nice size plants. I've been doing this orchid hobby for, I don't know, going on four years now. And so this one was probably one of my first ones I got from Sheldon at Carmela Orchids. And it's really doing well. New growth, new growth. I mean, just everywhere, new growth. And they're so reliable. This, you can't be on sediums for reliability. They're not high, high light. They do like light. So your eastern facing windows are great. If you're in the northern hemisphere, well, I guess it doesn't matter for east. It's your north and south that are going to be different. But yeah, here we go. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to rearrange these later. Um, my other orchids that I have in bloom are in the other room. This one is Pin Pino Princess. Now, if you follow my channel, you will know I did order one from Triton and it came in as yellow and he corrected it. He was really good about it. So this is supposed to be purple, a dark purple. So in spider like, so I'm going to tell you this spike here has already bloomed two. this, sorry, this growth has already bloomed two times. Here comes the third, third spike, large spike off of this one growth. And this growth back here is producing a spike, which is wonderful to see because this one is going to be in bloom as well as that one back here coming on this one will be in bloom for my talk um, at the Belleville Historical Society. So I'm getting antsy. I'm like, who's going to be blooming? Who's going to be blooming? We need blooms. I'm really hoping the Neophonicias and the... Um, why oh, there's so many orchids? The coconut scented one. Good grief, I can't remember the name of it. Maxillaria tenfolia? Maxillaria tenfolia, I believe. It's actually basking in the sun right now in the in the um, living room. But yeah, look at that big. That spike is over two feet long and it, and it curves. So I say for this orchid to have put three spikes out of one growth is fantastic. So this growth over here has one so far, and I bet if I look in, nothing yet. But there's nothing to say that this growth over here that's producing its first spike won't also at least give me two. But that's really, really nice. And this will be dark purple. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I cannot wait. And I will show you this. This one doesn't come out very much because it's never bloomed. This is Pachara Delight. It's a banda. Look at the roots. Now I do circle this around. It sits in a bowl. I do circle this around and it kind of nestles in a little bit of water. Not all the time, but I let it be a little heavy with water when I put it in the bowl so that a little water does seep down in it. Just keeps it a little drier. It does need water today. Now I have yet to see a spike on here. Maybe today's the day. I don't know. Either a bit of dirt got down in there or there's a spike. I think it's probably a little bit of dirt. So here is more growth coming on. It's really growing very, very well. It lives right up against my east facing window. Doing very well. If any of you have the Pachara Delight, let me know. Shoot me a comment. If yours is roughly this size and if you've seen any spikes yet. I'm really hoping this is the year. I'm like, come on, come on. This one I did get as a seedling from um, Carmela. And I always tell Sheldon, no Vandas. Please don't send me Vandas because I've seen the roots. Come on, we've all seen the roots. So far, not a problem. Um, and he did sneak this one into an order, but it's blue. My favorite color. So I'm not upset at all. I was like, okay, if I had to have a banda, I'm okay with this. But I have been seeing on a lot of these orchid shows and things, um, Rinko Stylus slash banda, I believe, and they're a little smaller. I don't think the plant would ever get much larger than this, if even this big. So I might, I might branch out a little bit into something like this. But I do have an orchid here I wanted to show you. I don't think I've ever shown you this one. Don't break, don't break coming out. This one, I believe, is a Hoka Glossum, and it's called Lilaxina. Where is the tag? Of course, where's the tag? Lilaxina. And I did purchase this, oh my goodness, over two years ago from Hauserman Orchids out in Illinois. And it said blooming size. It said some of this group of plants has already bloomed for them. It's been two years. Hoka Glossum, Lilaxina, I believe. I mean, it is lilac scene, but I believe it's Hoka Blossom. And I'm not seeing, I'm just not seeing any, nothing. Maybe this is a year. Maybe this is a year for the Vandas because this is probably somewhere in the Vanda family. 
<coughs> excuse me, now that I have to have some tea, excuse me for a second. It is iced tea. Looks a little bit like maybe a big glass of bourbon. <laughs> I wish. No, it is iced tea. Unsweetened iced tea. So if you're from the South, you're gasping right now because it's unsweetened. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I've never liked sweet tea. So anyhow, here it is. And I don't know, maybe one of you have the lilac seen it? Maybe you've seen it bloom? If so, let me know. I'm kind of thinking this is the year. This is it. Because it's doing rather well. It's developed some new growth since I've had it. But it's a slow grower. This one's slow. This is not. It's not moving along very fast. Like your like your dendrobiums. These, um, oh my goodness. Good heavens. This type, Latoria type, I'm going to get it. There's a lot of orchids to remember in my world. I had a friend who came over this weekend and she purchased an orchid for me that I had three of. So, or yes, yeah, several of. And so one of my um, sherry babies was blooming. And... She was, wow, there's a lot of orchids in here. And she's actually the lady, Kelly, who has hooked me up and started me doing all of the orchid talks. So shout out to Kelly. I absolutely, oh my goodness, she's, just, she's the nicest person ever. So loving this. And she did get to come and tour the orchids. She's never seen, she's never seen my grow space in the other room yet. She'd never come in. This is what I do Sunday orchids in bloom. And all my friends and family on Facebook, I missed this Sunday, but they typically see everything is blooming. I send a snapshot to my Facebook. So yeah, they all get to see that. They're, they're all probably immensely tired of my orchids. They're tired of hearing about my dogs, my orchids, and my hiking. <laughs> they're probably like, find a new hobby, Holly. I can't have any more. Do you know, I used to have a store named Holly's Hobbies. I actually lived over closer to Mohican, the other side of Mohican where I had a um, little ceramic shop for the tourists and it was named Holly's Hobbies. What else would you name it? So basically I'm not a career person, I'm a hobby person. <laughs> it is what it is. So yes, I do want to show you one last bloom before I go. I see my husband was just trying to call on the phone. It's his lunch break. So this is the Pinocchio orchid and I'm hoping that it's going to be opening up again pretty shortly here. Oh, excuse the dog hairs. Do any of you have dogs in the springtime? There's nothing funny about a dog in the springtime. For one thing, they want to run like a pack. You get one dog out there, fine. Two, iffy. All three of mine go, they're gone. They're gone like a shot. They're shedding everywhere. It's, it's not funny. Oh my goodness. Nonstop sweeping up dog hair. So they're even all my orchids. God bless those dogs. Oh, oh well, what can I do? There's nothing I can do about it except remove the dog hair. Well, I can't get rid of my dogs. So I want to thank you all for watching. Happy Valentine's Day once again to each and every one of you. I hope you're having a great day. And you know, maybe Valentine's is not about having somebody to come gush all over you and give you flowers and chocolates. Maybe it's about spending a little extra time with your orchids. <laughs> orchids never disappoint. Come on. Orchids never, ever disappoint. Sometimes they do, but not on Valentine's Day. So I hope you're all having a great day. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and above all, enjoy those orchids.